Uh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, security part of the service mesh, uh, like securing XLS services uh, using Istio um, Citadel, which has a, a, a central authority. Um, so uh, I think Sai uh, went over the Envoy uh, overview uh, in the previous talk. This is pretty much uh, based on that talk. Um, uh, I will go over the um, details uh, of the Envoy and how um, they work with the ECO Citadel later. So, um, so this is the agenda today. Uh, so it's kind of like I will go over how to like securing principles and uh, go over the um, the identity and SVID, which is the verifi ver verifiable identity document, uh, document. and then uh, go over how Citadel do the provisioning and how they um, issue to Envoy and how Envoy uses those uh, identity documents. And then uh, I will uh, take a de detailed look of the Envoy to how to use those uh, ID issued by Citadel. Then uh, we will go over the identity issue of uh, flow and uh, cover a little bit of authorization. So uh, let's talk about like securing XOS services. So XOS security policy defines the XOS languages that uh, define the runtime and uh, for the with policies. Before the policies, they need, uh, of course, all the service need uh, strong peer identities, and also they need to be, um, the identity need to be verifiable and non-replayable, and also um, the, ident the identity, then the identity can use uh, to, uh, for the security policies. Um, Security policy defined by using uh, XOS models uh, used by uh, REST APIs and service controllers, uh, service instances, everything need a uh, strong identity to pr uh, provide the uh, security. So those identity are provided by, um, in Istio model, it uh, is provided by the X509 certificate with uh, strong private keys. So uh, the service controller, service instances, and slices, um, the service slices all need the uh, uh, identities. <coughs> so that's the implica implication of the uh, XOS security engine. It's a verifiable chain of trust. So uh, the Istio CA will issue the um, CA certificate to the sub CA, which is node agent. Like each node, node means uh, actual machine or actual um, VM um, and uh, uh, Kubernetes nodes. Uh, and then the leaf certificate issued to every sidecar proxy that I covered in the previous uh, pre talk. That is the sidecar proxy to uh, every instance, every component, every XOS um, service instance. And that will provide the possibility of the RBAC mechanism based on those um, identities. So this is uh, like XOS uses the X proto definition to define the pro policies. Those can be actually fitted into the um, Istio pilot models and Istio uh, Citadel will use that as a service registry to uh, issue the identity to define the identity format. Um, that uh, those extension um, will be also used as a um, policy language and um, driven using the uh, have the it will have the context of the policy everything uh, so the, um, those will be uh, issued to the sidecars and they are uh, it will use uh, as authorization. So um, let's talk a bit more about uh, where do we uh, enforcement those security. So like uh, in those uh, diagram, that is uh, like XOS services, like we have the service controller at the bottom. So every components uh, of the XOS should be 
are secured, that uh, each green part is a secure connection between the components. Also, uh, not covered in this diagram, the edge proxies and the communication between pops should also be secured, uh, encrypted. So, um, as here, like every component should be uh, should deployed with sidecar proxy, and they uh, will have uh, the identity issued by Citadel. So, um, let's. Uh, talk about the spiffy identity more. Uh, the spiffy identity is the, um, so uh, spiffy stand, uh, stands for uh, secure production identity framework for everyone. Um, it defines the identity format as the uh, URI um, format. So it starts with spiffy colon slash slash and trust domain slash pass. And it has uh, uh, three variants of them. Uh, one is like you can use them to identify the service owner. This uh, this one is used in Kubernetes and you see in Istio and we will co cover these details uh, uh, here. Uh, it also can uh, identify in service itself, like you have a um, ser specific service name there, uh, not the service account. Um, and also you can use the opaque service identity, which is UUID, it's random generated. You have the trust domain and then you have pretty opaque UUID as an identity. <coughs> so, uh, uh, Spiffy ID itself doesn't uh, define a verifiable uh, ID format. Um, that, that part is covered by X509 uh, SVID. So that is a verifiable I identity document. That is basically, um, maps the spiffy identity to X509 PKI, and uh, it includes the spiffy identity as a, uh, in the same field of the uh, X509 certificates. Um, it, it has some basic constraints, means like the length of URIs and the, um, so the identity in the same field, not in the common name, not in other field. Uh, it also has the key usage uh, constraint constraint means the um, root, root CA and uh, intermediate CA should use the key uh, signing key usage. And uh, since name constraint uh, for CA keys is also defined, um, it is uh, nice to have constraints right now since um, um, implementation of the X509 PKI doesn't have uh, well uh, good support for URI name constraints. It usually have good uh, name constraints support for domain names, but not really good support for URI. This is uh, something uh, Spiffy community is, look, is looking at uh, improvements. So, uh, so this is like how we can use the Spiffy identity for XOS services. Um, like uh, we, we will, Citadel will usually use the uh, service, uh, uh, use the identity that identifying service owner, that means who deployed that and uh, that is a service account model. Uh, for XOS, this can be like if you depro deploy the XOS core in uh, Kubernetes that comes with a Kubernetes service account. Um, the spiffy identity will come map to each service account like you have the XOS core deployed in like XOS namespace and it have the service account there so the identities maps to each um, service account. So uh, this is the like uh, the identity provisioning flow in um, Istio. Uh, the Citadel part is uh, green boxes. This is the each component in the Citadel. And uh, I will cover it later uh, for how the instance with the sidecar envoy proxy deployed to uh, node agent and node agent will talk to Citadel. Uh, uh, node agent and Citadel talk with the uh, in, uh, node agent API and that will authenticate the node. The node is, uh, as I said before, it's a VM or a bare metal machine or actually so the uh, minimum unit of the um, computer uh, or like um, network devices or so. 
Um, and uh, that will go through the, all the um, authority, uh, authorization process for that, for that identity. So it will have the information from registry API, have, uh, go through the identity approval from node agent. Uh, the envoy will send some um, bootstrap identity or boot, bootstrap tokens. So uh, like XOS model that um, the core models define, will, uh, will define those um, topologies and that, that will be in registry API and node authenticator. So Citadel will um, have the information what, uh, what is the identity it should um, issue. So this is very, um, um, this is not quite uh, precise since I put node agent all out outside. This is all um, pretty, um, it just uh, a conceptual model. So uh, the uh, XOS controller have the information to Citadel and Citadel will communication with node agent. In fact, in fact this, uh, if you write a node, it will be uh, in the below side. Uh, downside, uh, it, every node agent uh, in every node, and each node will have some service instance or like uh, uh, instance there. So this is very like conceptual um, diagram. Um, and that one, uh, uh, no, uh, I want to emphasize that the node agent and Envoy talk in gRPC, and that one, since this is used as a uh, identity bootstrap, it will communicate uh, with the Unix domain socket. Uh, like in Kubernetes, this is done by the uh, flex volume mount, so that you, uh, you don't have the um, bootstrap issue, like if you connect with TCP over network, you need another identity to talk to a node agent. This is why node agent is needed here to provide the identity and also the bootstrap uh, certificate to each uh, proxy. So uh, let's go over a little bit recap to Envoy. Envoy is the service mesh proxy. Um, so a service proxy used in service mesh. It has the L7 um, architecture and it, uh, deployment agnostic lightweight, have a filter and HTTP support. Um, uh, I don't think I have a lot of time to cover this, and uh, this one is covered by previous one. So um, the terminology is here uh, is covered by previous slide, uh, previous talk as well. Uh, the one thing I want to emphasize is here is the SDS part. The SDS part is uh, the the SDS is the API that Envoy used to, uh, to talk to node agent to get. Um, information about the uh, certificate, uh, private keys, um, and all of like those. Uh, it can be also used for the TOS session keys in some deployment, but uh, we won't cover that part here. Um, so uh, that one is used here. Uh, th this is the like dynamic configuration model. Um, oops, this slide. So each one have like uh, in the downstream side, uh, listener have the TOS config. In the upstream side, it cluster have the TOS config. The TOS config can comes with all, um, a pointer to um, SDS resources. That means in, if Envoy get a, a TOS config with SDS pointer, it will query to SDS, and the SDS will deliver those key and cert to each of them. Uh, they can refer to same uh, resources as well. In that way, Envoy will cache every, uh, cache same and use, to, uh, use, use them in multiple like clusters or multiple listeners as well. So in runtime dynamics, this is the um, XDS model. So um, you ha we have CDS, RDS, EDS, and SDS here. Um, so with the node agent here, uh, and now Citadel, so pilot will issue, uh, have the topology of the, uh, the service um, to Envoy, and then it will send the links to, um, to the uh, SDS resources. The, then Envoy will query node agent to get the identity um, 
from Citadel. And this, this is the eventual consistent model. So um, listener, um, when Envoy get listeners from information from uh, pilot, then it will wait uh, until it have enough um, information from node agent as well before it's starting serving uh, that listener. So this is the node agent, uh, how node agent work. Um, node agent will, um, the key part here is node agent w uh, will take the responsibility of generating private keys and send us a uh, certificate signing request to Citadel. And Citadel actually only in responsible to uh, issue the certificate part. It doesn't issue the key. Keys generated in node agent. And node agent communicate with Envoy with the SDS API. So this is the insurance flow. So the first one uh, after Envoy, as I said in previous uh, slide, Envoy get the listeners information or clusters information with SDS uh, resources. Then it will send uh, the uh, SDS request to node agent. Uh, that will um, provide a bootstrap uh, token. Bootstrap token usually is uh, if the Envoy is deployed in Kubernetes, it could be the Kubernetes uh, token. Uh, and it also can be, uh, if in bare metal de deployment, it can be a token from metadata server. Uh, uh, and uh, that will be sent to node agent. Node agent will verify that token in, um, for, for its, um, to identify which, uh, which service is querying to uh, its request, uh, uh, requesting identity since each node can have multiple instances and it's critical for node agent to uh, distinguish which service is querying, uh, is requesting the uh, identity document. And then uh, node agent here will generate a, a certificate signing request and request a, actually the signing part from Citadel. Uh, Citadel is also a, a pluggable um, component here. It can, it might work um, have another backend to uh, public CAs, or but it can also be like in in out in house root CA. Um, that one is opaque to node agent. So node agent send the CSR to Citadel and Citadel uh, sign if the uh, all the authorization passed, then Citadel will send back um, the signed certificate and the uh, whole uh, certificate chain up to the root CA back to node agent. And node agent then will respond that uh, to uh, sidecar proxy. <coughs> uh, node agent will also um, cache the um, key and certificate if uh, that is necessary. So uh, if, um, if some of the deployment of the instance restarted, it doesn't always go to the Citadel to uh, request new signing um, process. So uh, the, uh, this is uh, the merit. Uh, the um, merit of this flow is that it it is uh, secure uh, because like um, um, node agent generate the key and uh, it al it always stay in the same machine. Um, uh, we also, uh, I think there's also a discussion about using uh, TPMs or like hardware securities uh, here with node agent, but it's not uh, implemented yet. Um, it's also very scalable since Envoy, Envoy manages at the expiration uh, and Envoy will query new certificates when uh, the, expi uh, the expiration uh, time is very close. Um, it, Citadel only responsible for the signing, so each part, each component here have its own uh, responsibility, and it distributed to um, to um, every node. Uh, it's also efficient, like um, the Envoy XDS model provided a very uh, efficient model here. It doesn't require to restart the uh, server. Uh, you can always get the um, new certificate. Um, without interrupt the existing traffic. Um, so, 
So, uh, so the, then, uh, like you have to know, then uh, the once every uh, process get gets uh, its key and certificate, it can talk to each other with uh, strong uh, with mutual TLS. Mutual TLS means uh, each side have identity presented to the peer, and it have peer uh, strong peer uh, identities and encryption here. So uh, let's. So now we have the authentication enforced um, in the uh, service to service communication. Um, it's it's now rep replayable peer identity document, and then we can do the authorization that with the with these uh, identity documents. Uh, authorization here uh, in Istio we use the role, ba role based access control to um, enforce the policy. Um, the identity is provided by Citadel, and uh, this is like the sample of the RBAC config. It have the, uh, this is a service role sample, and the subject can uh, contain some, uh, the identity, it can be um, authenticated service identity from the SVID part, and also if you have incoming HTTP request that can contain some, uh, JWT token, uh, which is authenticated end user, and it, it can also use to like um, for anonymous user that doesn't have the end user identity, and you bind them to specific uh, assigned roles. Like this one is like uh, it's the XLS viewer. You can this means you, uh, the um, someone have the viewer role can query to the service with only with get head method of HTTP. Since Envoy is uh, in front of your service, it, it is L7 aware. It can inspect each, um, what, what the method. It also can, you, you can also do URL based authorization and method based, header based um, authorization as well. So um, that, that is pretty much uh, everything I have. Um, putting them together um, to recap the um, key point is like uh, service controller control the aspect. Uh, it provides information to uh, Istio control plane like Pilot and Citadel. And then uh, Citadel will provide verifiable train, uh, chain, uh, chain of trust uh, by providing SVID to each um, Sidecar proxy, and then sidecar proxy uh, will enforce the encryption part uh, to do the service to service um, encrypted, encrypted uh, communication. And then um, the RBAC mechanism here uh, with the Envoy RBAC filter and the configuration languages, uh, we can use the HDL uh, RBAC policy to enforce the fine grained uh, L7 aware. Um, authorization at the, um, each service. And that's pretty much everything I have. Thank you for listening. Uh, question. Questions? Zach? I have like 10 questions, but I'm not going to ask them all. <laughs> um, so when um, a certificate is generated, and you generate the spiffy URL, which is part of the uh, SAN field. Right. Um, what portion of the URL is within that? Is it just the, uh, what, because I'm assuming that you can extend the URL to get to a subsection of, of the API. Does this question make sense? Or is it the, is it the entire? Sorry, uh, can, can you repeat that question? So, so what is in the sand field of one of those? Is it just the name of the service? What, or is it the name of the, the target? If you go uh, back to your. So, so the sand field contains the identity of the service account, which is uh, um, like one of the spiffy uh, identity we use in. <coughs> so so it, it contains that entire thing, including the path? Yeah, including path okay. the, that in the sand uh, as a URI UR type in the okay. sand. So it uh, so like for example here we including every like to the to the end. This is the sand field. 
okay? Um, and what's the, is there a trust relationship between uh, Citadel and the Istio um, uh, pilot? Is there, do you have to establish that trust or is there um, in generating certificates? Um, I'm so just trying to see what parts of components have to trust each other for the for it all work. So the uh, you mean the trust model with between Pilot and Citadel? Right. Uh, well, they uh, so in regular Istio deployment, they read from the single source of truth of the configuration, which is Kubernetes uh, API server. So basically, you feed uh, same config to them, and they each of them are actually stateless. So they don't have uh, communication between them. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks. So let me ask one, which is, is related to what Zach was asking about. Did you, so Istio has an RBAC mechanism. Yes. And XOS has an RBAC mm -hmm. policy statement. Did mm -hmm. you match those up in an example just to see how well they align, if it's a, if the Istio RBAC is sufficiently powerful, or did you do you have any experience with that? Um, not not, not yet. Direct, not directly. Not quite yet. Yeah. So um, basically, um, yeah, I think I think pretty much uh, that can be. So if the RBAC can provide the RBACs that define in XOS if you convert them to the ex, uh, Istio policy. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, one, one more talk, actually a panel. Uh, so if my panelists could come up and take a seat. How do I undo this now? 